Hello Solidor Sport users, this is Alin Vergato with another productivity tech tip and this time I'm gonna focus on quickly inserting components in assemblies or creating new drawing views. Um, let me start by identifying certain components that I would like to use in a brand new assembly. So let me select all of them and simply open them in SOLIDWORKS. This is one way of doing it. As long as you, they have been open in SOLIDWORKS at one point, they are being added to the recent document list. And one thing that I'm going to recommend is making sure that you check this box in System Options, Recent Documents, Include Documents Open from Other Documents. So this way, if I have a drawing and I open its part, the part is going to be listed in the recent document. If I have a component of an assembly and I open it in its own window, it's going to be listed in this recent uh, document portal. Um, let's close all these files. So the only reason I wanted to open them is because now when I press the R button, I have them available. Let's start a new assembly. So uh, let's say assembly millimeter. I'm not going to use the uh, insert component command to insert new components. I'm simply going to press the R button to see the recent documents that I have here. And let's start with this bracket. I'm going to drag it over my assembly, but let's place it right in the origin. Notice it gets fixed, it's exactly what we wanted. Let's press R again, and let's insert the next component, and again, leave it right there. And you can see, little by little, I can start be, uh, building my assembly like that. Uh, what about the drawing? Well, let's pick up maybe B size, and add again the bracket by dragging and dropping it from the recent document list. So I'm going to drop it anywhere on this sheet, and you can see the result. It's the same thing as pressing the three standard view button. Let's add another sheet and do the same thing for, uh, let's, let's use this file. Drag it, drop it, and you can see the result. Now, one thing that's interesting is that where you drop it doesn't make any difference. Let me undo this and let me drag it and drop it over here. All right, you can see the location. It's still the same. It's the same thing as using the three standard views. So I think this is a nice addition to our previous articles and videos describing the great functionality of the recent document portal. Thank you.